today we will shed some light on a fine cipher previously we took an example encrypted it and then decrypted it to see how a fine cipher works in this example we will take a different text our plain text is honey and we will convert this into cipher text using a fine cipher let me revisit the encryption formula which we use for a fine cipher this is ax plus b modulus of 26 I've discussed in my previous video that we are taking modulus 26 because we are dealing with 26 letters in English language and A and B are the two keys which we use in a fine cipher X over here is the position of the letter so we have honey H O N E Y and like in Caesar cipher we number every alphabet from A to Z starting from 0 to 26 it is always recommended that you write the numbering down before solving any technique and just number them it's going to be easier so from 0 to 25 we have 26 letters that's why we are taking modulus of 26 so this formula in front of you is used for encryption in a fine cipher now we will number our plain text h is equals to 7 o as you can see over here is 14 n is 13 then e is 4 y 24 now we have to place it in our formula first we will solve it for h which is equals to 7 so A and X equals to H which is 7 plus B modulus 26 as you can see that we require the value of A and B which we haven't decided yet so B is something which we can select between 2 to 25 and A should be selected in such a way that if we take greatest common divisor 
between a and 26 then the result should be 1 so let me solve it for you greatest common divisor a and 26 should be 1 let's suppose that we have selected the value for b as 3 now 3 will also satisfy this particular equation but this time we will try some other value we have limited space so I am going to rub this portion right if we select a equals to 5 then GCD is this now we have to see that the greatest common divisor between 5 and 26 is only 1 so let's see if that's true or not 5 is divisible by 1 and itself and 26 is divisible by 1 2 13 itself as you can see that only one is common between them so we can say that 5 is a co-prime of 26 and we can select 5 as equals to a so the value of a is now 5 If we compute this, then 5 multiplied by 7 is 35 plus 3 modulus 26. So this will become 38 modulus 26 which is equals to 12 now we will see what 12 actually means so as you can see here that 12 is m So we can say that H is now replaced by M or we have encrypted H into M. Now similarly We will do the same procedure for O. So O is fourteen. We will place it in our formula. A equals to we have just calculated 5 and X is now 14 plus B will remain the same 3 modulus 26 
now we are going to compute this value your task is to compute the value and find out the letter which will be replacing O in this scenario for N we will use the same procedure this is for N equals to 13 this will become a is 5 13 plus 3 modulus 26 you will have to calculate this value to find the letter which will replace n you'll have to solve it for O, N, E and Y and then you will have a cipher text. Thank you very much for listening.